Preston Physics Grade 11 Energy Work and Power Note 11 Nuclear Energy Right now we're going to look at nuclear power. Now nuclear power is formed by nuclear fission. What that is is fission is the breaking up of an element. The way we're going to do this is we're going to take a neutron and we're going to shoot it into a uranium nucleus. Now the neutron strikes the nucleus making it extremely unstable. What happens next is the uranium nucleus starts to break down. It starts to actually release energy. Now this is something that kind of goes in the face of chemistry. I'm going to explain it to you in a second but when this is breaking down it's going to release three things. It's going to release a krypton daughter nuclei, a barium daughter nuclei, and three neutrons. But it's also releasing an extreme amount of energy. What this means is that the mass of the reactants, which are on the left hand side of this equation, really it's just the uranium and that one extra neutron that we've shot into it, so we have our reactants over on the left, the mass is greater in the reactants than it is in the products. This goes against chemistry. But what happens is mass is lost here and it's been converted into pure energy. This is why nuclear power is so great because it can create a ton of energy with a very small amount of a substance. In a nuclear reaction, we can calculate how much energy is produced from the lost mass using a very famous equation. We use E equals mc squared, where E is the energy in joules, m is the mass in kilograms, and c is the speed of light, or 3.0 times 10 to the 8 meters per second. Now mass that we use in this equation is in kilograms, but it's actually the mass that's lost in the equation. So if we look at this first example, we have a fission reaction where we have some mass lost and we want to find out how much energy is actually being produced. So at the start of this reaction we have a mass of 56 kilograms and at the end we have a mass of 55.9 kilograms. A difference of 0.1 kilograms. We want to find the energy. We sub in all of our values and we end up finding that the energy produced here is 9.0 times 10 to the 15 joules of energy which is a lot if you consider we only use 0.1 kilograms or 100 grams of a substance. Read through the rest of this note on your own and we'll talk about a little bit of it tomorrow in class. The question associated with this note from your yellow duotang is number 45.